welcome back to my channel the moody pages and today i have an unboxing this one has been a long time coming right now it is may 12th and i'm finally just getting our march box from the bookish box <laughs> um they have uh, some delays due to the publisher um it was it the publisher and like lack of printing i don't know something to do with the printing um so I'm very excited for this box. It's long awaited. And I've been trying to uh, like read books from each month, uh, like that I'm getting a box, like a book out of each one of the categories that I haven't read yet. So this one I'm excited for. So let me tell you the theme. I looked it up this time, okay? Literally says the bookish box marked by a box, okay? I'm actually doing good research right now. It is Bookish Baddies, and this box celebrates some of the most morally great baddies. Whether you hate to love them or love to hate them, this month's box will ignite your love of these morally great or downright twisted characters with beautiful, usable items to bring out the bookish baddie in everyone. So I'm excited to see what kind of books we get. Um, so the book of the month is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len, and then let's see... So uh, there will be items inspired from Luke from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I did listen to that book. Very good. Stolas from The Kingdom of Runes. Have not read it. Alosa from Daughter of the Pirate King. Did read. Wrath from Kingdom of the Wicked. Have not read. Hades. Uh, I mean, I've read A Touch of Rune, but everyone knows about Hades, right? <laughs> um, so, and it says, and more. So I'm excited. I think A Kingdom of the Wicked is something that's on my May TBR, so hopefully I can appreciate this item a little bit more. Um, this candle right here is from Bookish Box as well, and it's Ranhold Castle, and it smells so good. So anyways, let's get opening. This is a little bit bigger of a box than uh, they normally give. Like, normally it's a lot smaller. Oh, okay. So first item right here is the right on top. Morally gray, it says. Okay, it says the oh trope book display. Okay, let's see what's inside. Maybe I thought that's where I would open. Okay. Oh. How cute! I can set my books on this thing. Books, Kindle. So it looks like it's a little stand here. So here, let me put this. There we go. And then you can kind of like prop it to how you like it. And then this would be like where you're putting the book. Let's see. Good thing I have books right there, right? For the background. Oof. <laughs> so there we go. We got it in action. And not gonna lie, I think that this would be so incredibly useful for my recipe books. <laughs> like, I'm not even thinking about, like, regular books. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is so useful for my recipe books. Holy cow. Okay, so that is super exciting. I love this. Look at the artwork on that. That is really pretty. Morally gray. And then I think this is usually like a lovers to enemies trope type of thing. Oh, I don't see a heart or like a dagger through it. Normally there is. With like the enemies to lovers, it's like the heart and then the dagger. This is cute. Okay, very excited. Hello. Next thing, okay, we got another, another bookmark weaponry. So we got another <laughs> bookmark uh, dagger, which I've actually have used some of my daggers for uh, like book picks for my books to count. Oh, okay, it kind of looks like it has a snake. Okay, yep, I'm right. I was gonna say, it looks like it has a snake on top. Let's see, you can see the snake right there. All that detail. So that's kind of cool. And this says, 
Kingdom of the Cursed. Oof. Is it right there? Yeah. All right. So I'm assuming that this is Raph. Yeah, that's from that series. Awesome. I do like the snake on it. Here's the book. Oh, okay. I'm not going to open the book just yet. But do you guys see like this little... Hmm. We will investigate in a little bit, okay? <laughs> oh, it says Hades and Persephone Jewelry Hook Wall Serpent. Sign me up. Let's see. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I am going to hang this up for sure. This is beautiful. I can hang my necklace. This is uh, one of the necklaces from the book box, the bookish box as well. I forget which one it was, but um, it's like the night and day quarter necklace. Super cute. So I will be using that and hanging my necklace right here. Love. How cute. Okay. I like that this is actually like a useful item. Same with the book stand, bookmark. We love a good bookmark. And I like the design. Okay. Candle, candle, candle. This is Aries, and I believe this is Hand Poured by the Book of Shop. Okay, so I did see a spoiler on their website saying that they had an Alosa candle um, for their Members Day sale, which is happening May 27th, and I am 90% and not 90% sure this is the candle for Alosa from Daughter of a Pirate King. So... This is not really how I pictured her. I pictured her a lot younger. She looks a lot older right here because I'm pretty sure she's like only like 17 or something like that. Like this does not look like a 17 year old. I guess I kind of pictured the girl from Brave. Hmm. This one smells so sweet. Yeah, this just smells so sweet. Like I love sweet scents. Oh, I will be burning this 100%. I might go buy like another one on their members day sale. <laughs> okay, I don't know what really like, what scents are there. It almost reminds me of a less sweet scent of watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. That's kind of what it reminds me of, just a little bit less. All right, this is Kingdom of Runes necklace. Here is this necklace, and that's pretty cool. I don't think I've actually heard of Kingdom of Runes, so I'm gonna have to go look that up. But this is a cool necklace. I like it, it's cute. I'm always looking for a good bookish necklace, so hopefully I can actually um, read this so I can enjoy it and like take pride in wearing it. And I think this is the last thing I have in here. Oh, okay, of course, like, the stuff explaining everything is down here. Who's this? Okay, I'm gonna read this a little bit. And here we find, I finally, underneath everything. Okay. I got a shirt! Okay, so far, I'm just seeing, like, some type of design here, and I'm in love with it. Let's see. Oh, I like this. I am the darkness between the stars. This is from the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This shirt is beautiful. I, first off, love the color. And I love the coloring of, like, the shirt, like, the design. <laughs> Is what I'm trying to say and honestly I kind of did like Luke in the, in the book I, I really shouldn't have but I did but like it's just so pretty so I'm gonna actually try and email them and ask to go down to a size large I not that I've actually been losing a whole lot of weight but I have been losing a few minuscule pounds and my clothes are starting to feel a little bit looser so this extra large is gonna be 
a little too loose for me. Um, I normally like my clothes baggy, but this is going to start looking a little too baggy on me. So I'm going to ask to go down to a large. Um, and yeah, so this is, this is the shirt. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go check out this book situation. Because that's not the last item. I actually totally forgot about the book. Okay, let's see here. Here is Only a Monster. And honestly, the book does sound good. So, like, if you can see it where the light's hitting, you can see the kind of like the shiny parts of the book. Like, this detailing is shiny and the rest is matte. And then, obviously, you know, purple spade edges. Signed. Let's see if they got. Ooh, they do. I love when. What? Did she actually write this? The author? Like, did she actually spend time, like... Dang. That's wild. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, because... Okay. But look at this artwork. I personally love when they include artwork in here. Like, it's probably one of my favorite things. Um, about this series is like not series this box is like when they include um, fan art so let's check out the reversible cover so like this is the back this is the front and then this is the reversible dust jacket oh <laughs> hopefully like it hasn't just been glaring this whole entire time but this is the dust jacket super cool I love it love the back and it says, in every story, there's a hero and a monster. Which is very true. All right, I'm going to inspect this uh, right here. I think it's probably, ooh, it, it does look like it's um, torn right there. Like, uh, yep. Which, I mean, no complaint. It's fine. Ooh, look at it. And the cover has this foil gold, just the edges, the back is plain. I think it's really pretty. Overall, like, I'm actually excited to read this book. I think it sounds really good. Um, so, I'm excited. Will that bother me? Maybe just a little bit. It's fine. It'll, might bother me just a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm just really glad to have this box in general, this box. Um, I thought I would be getting the March adult box because I did sign up for adult at some point so I don't know when I'll be getting that but I'm like pretty positive I should be getting a March adult box but we'll see they still haven't finished sending out all their March boxes so if I do end up getting it you'll probably get another unboxing here soon <laughs> um but adult book um this is their YA and I am so excited with all these items. Like this is all stuff that I actually will use. Um, and I love that. I think some of the past boxes are some items where I'm just like, okay, I have it. And it's just sitting waiting to be given to a new home for a giveaway. So like if I hit 300 subscribers, guys, and I think right now I'm like six subscribers away, I would love to give you guys some of these bookish items or just like, I don't know, one like two winners or something like that I don't know we'll see so if I hit 300 subscribers anytime soon I would love to give you guys some stuff from the bookish box and just any bookish items so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye